heartburn, gas, bloating, no good, right? Nobody wants to feel this way. So today's video, I am going to share with you some at-home remedies and strategies that you can use to help out with your tummy troubles. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, weight loss, and wellness. So this is part two of a video series I'm doing on upper GI issues, in particular, low stomach acid, which is the most common reason that you have gas, bloating and heartburn symptoms. It's not the opposite, it's not too much acid, it's not enough. And this is a very common condition. In last video, I talked about the reasons why this is happening and how the pH of the stomach needs to be very acidic in order to function. So in today's video, I'd like to get into some of the things that you can do at home and with your diet to help out with this problem. So first and foremost, I wanna let you know that you should not have a lot of liquids at your meal time because if you do you're going to dilute the digestive juices in your stomach while you're eating okay so if you have to have a few sips here and there that's not a big deal but you don't want to be gulping down large glasses of water or any other type of liquid while you're eating so try to keep your liquids at least an hour away from your meal times and that's going to really help whatever digestive juices that you already have present in your stomach. Second is you're gonna to wanna to start adding some sea salt to your food overall. Most people purposely keep salt out of their diet, which is a bad idea, okay? There are a lot of benefits for having sea salt in your diet overall, okay? The electrolytes are very important for many things. Sea salt in particular, sodium in particular, will help you enhance your own body's production of hydrochloric acid for your own body to produce better stomach acid. So don't be afraid of salt, it will help with the production of your own acid. Foods, so there are inflammatory foods that really interfere with digestion, especially in the stomach, okay? So grains and sugar and things that turn into sugar are not really good for inflammation and especially of the stomach. So you wanna avoid those kinds of foods in addition to alcohol and possibly caffeine, and even some cases, temporarily, people might need to avoid spicy foods and even dairy products, all right, guys? So you wanna keep eating real, whole foods, but stay away from anything processed as well, and then anything that's gonna be inflammatory overall to the body, you're gonna to wanna to keep that out of your diet. In addition to adding some salt, you wanna try using some lemon juice, and possibly apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a really great home remedy. You can do like one or two tablespoons diluted in a little bit of water. You need a lot of water, just a little water. Take that with your meals, add it to your salads. That will help naturally make your stomach more acidic when you're eating. It also helps with the pH throughout the digestive tract, so not just in the stomach. So apple cider vinegar is a cheap, easy remedy to use at home, so give that a shot. Now, if you're really having a hard time with burning issues, you might wanna consider using some baking soda in a pinch, but keep in mind that this is definitely just something temporary. You don't wanna be using baking soda on a regular basis because it will interfere with the pH overall of your body too much. But in a pinch, if nothing else is working, you can take a little bit of baking soda and water and drink that down, and that should help cool any digestive issues that you're having at that moment. All right, guys, in the next video, please stay tuned because I'm gonna get into some supplements that you can take that will give you more of a long-term fix to help your body produce its own. And then if you're on acid blockers, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to reduce or go off of them so you don't need to take them anymore and then you can enhance your own body's production of stomach acid, etc. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.